Hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 13 of Hermitcraft. So, uh, 13 is an unlucky number for some, and today it is an unlucky number for the mobs. <laughs> so first of all, there's an update on the trap I was working on with Zuzuma, and after that it's working on the trap I've been starting in the nether. Now, I haven't made much progress on it, so a lot of the episode is actually in creative mode. There's a bunch of cool stuff to do with minecart grinding, uh, killing mobs in minecarts, and as usual there are shortcuts in the description, and there's even some music right at the end. So, enjoy! Alright, so I'm here at Kirshara's mob trap, the one I was working on with Zuzuma the other day, and we've probably worked on it for another four hours since then. I think Zuzuma's been here even longer. And, uh, yeah, so we've got this sort of down, uh, the walls down the side there. I've realized that, well, we just put in the floor there, except for we need to light it up a bit, because spawn, uh, spawners, spiders can spawn on those half blocks along the bottom, and possibly on the chests there. But, uh, we did a live stream, or Zuma did a live stream on Saturday night, so you can check that out on his channel, or on his Twitch, I think there's a copy too. Um, but yeah, so we put in the lava there, so what happens is they fall down, they fall through the lava, and then they hit the uh, hoppers at the bottom, and that seems to take care of them pretty quick. There are a few that get through, although, um, they're gone now. There was a skeleton there, and I guess he had fire protection armor, possibly. And, uh, some of the spiders survive as well. Not those ones down there, that's just because the... We need more lighting along the bottom. <laughs> okay, I guess those spiders aren't going to be a problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I've turned it off right now because it is ridiculous. I've just been spending about 20 minutes just trying to clear out everything because I guess um, we don't have enough chests down here to, to fill up. I mean, these are just... they're not full now. Oh, that one's just filling up still. But, uh, you know, if we look through here, bones, 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 you know, arrows, 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 the spider there. The spiders are actually good because we can turn all the string into wool. So I got a bunch of wool there, more arrows, I think there's just building stuff in these, yeah. And, uh, now these are almost emptied back here, but look, oh no, that's <laughs> zombie meat. Yeah, got like probably over three double chests, probably four in total if I got it all. And uh, the thing is, because these haven't been getting cleared, we haven't been sending them anywhere. All the hoppers up here are sort of full as well. Oh no, they've cleared out now. Oh yeah, so they're clearing out. Um, But yeah, apart from that, it all seems to be working fine. But what we have to do is figure out how to store all the items, I think, because there's going to be a ton of stuff. And a few ideas we've had are to possibly put a rail system to send them into the nether for a transport. That would be good. And, uh, yeah, let's assume we move the portal down here so you can get easy access. I think the ideal position to stand is going to be sort of on the top of that tower, around that height. Um, but yeah, that's it. Just a quick update, and I guess I'll turn it on. I think to redo the timing, there's quite a few options, but before we do that and get all the timing all figured out, I think we're going to have to uh, get the storage part figured out, and then we can actually measure how fast it's working by counting the items, that kind of thing. And I'll have to put in item separators and all that. And I'll just turn this on, give that a quick pulse, and flick that lever. Because currently all the levels are being triggered at once, and it's probably better to do maybe one side and then the other, or maybe one level at a time. Um, but yeah, I'm the only one on the server. <laughs> Whoa, look at all those zombies go. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, it's just ridiculous. It's producing a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, so there's the lava there, you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven below, so the light shouldn't really be a problem. You 
you can see how they fall through. Some of them sort of get stuck. It's the spiders that are the problem. Because what we did, we spent hours putting up these walls here. And then we tested it, and the spiders could climb the walls. <laughs> so by putting the walls in before doing the testing, it was sort of backwards. But it's okay, you know, so... Uh, not the end of the world. Personally, I probably would have changed the walls, but it did take a long time to make them, so it was easier to uh, put in the lava. And this is kind of uh, Zuma's project, I guess. So, Whoa. so I'll let him make all the decisions, really. Um, but yeah, that's it. Just quick update on this thing. It'll probably look a bit different next time you see it with all the item storage and sorting all put into place. But yeah, if we just look up here, wait for the next flush, and then you'll see a whole bunch of mobs fall through that lava. And actually, it would probably, it would probably be a nice idea to remove that bottom layer of uh, cobble so we get a better view. Yeah, there should be a flush coming up now. <laughs> Oh, that's just silly. It really is. <laughs> so yeah, the mob trap is down there at the end of the corridor. A little bit further than that portal, there's another portal. And the hub is only just here. So it's fairly close, so I think it would be nice to have some kind of minecart thing. And in fact, if you think about it, uh, the portal is over sort of in this direction over here. So it might be uh, possible to... Maybe I can even see it from here. Oh, there's a new new shop or something going up there. But I think we could just bring it into this shop area. Well, that's my idea anyways. And then... Uh, what is all this stuff? I'm sure you get the idea of what I'm saying. Just bring the, the drops into here and then everyone can get them when they want them. What is... Oh, maybe he's already had the idea. Oh. Do you... Are you selling it? Cheeky bugger. What a cheeky bugger, man. I guess he was taking control of the project, but... Uh, he better give me some of that. What? What a cheeky... Cheeky deeky. <laughs> of course, anyone can always go and AFK at the trap themselves. Oh, I guess you need the sand as well. So, that's sort of... Sort of fair. <laughs> oh, I guess it's fair. Why not? What are all those pumpkins as well? That's quite nice. <laughs> TNT. Yeah, anyways, I think I'll just figure out where the Kyrsar's portal goes and see the shortest route to get to the shop area here. Yeah, so the mob trap is there, and if I come out here, where do I end up? Okay, I see some light here. And, oh yeah, perfect. So you end up right at the shop. So I think that would work out quite well. Alright, so we are in the nether here, and I think it's time to uh, show you my big plans for this place even though I already started talking about them uh, in a previous episode. Uh, I think I'll show you what I've done so far. And I have a build montage, but because the music uh, might not be everyone's cup of tea, I've decided to put that right at the end. But anyways, I think it's time for the reveal so far of what I've done. And the Wither Skeleton Farm. Here it is. <laughs> oh yeah. So... Uh, yeah, it's a wither skeleton farm. Basically, the spawning pads are there, 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 and up there. So there's only sort of four rows in this area. Maybe not the most efficient use of space, but once everything around is all taken away and all the other spawning places are limited, are eliminated, and or limited, whatever, then they'll only be able to spawn in here. Oh, and I, I want to be careful. <laughs> so eventually it will start working. It's a long-term thing. 
And yeah, funnily enough, I just watched Etho's latest episode and he started building his trap. And uh, yeah, he was using a... Oh no, it wasn't a tripwire design. Or was it? I can't remember. But in any case, he's saying you can't set it up like this or JL did or something like that. But you can, the only issue is you have to use sticky pistons and then some sort of non-solid block, such as stairs, uh, because the string will only get triggered when the mob spawns right in the middle here, right? So if it was to spawn where this stair was, it wouldn't trigger the tripwire. Now, actually, that can be used to an advantage. So you see uh, there's one pad there, one pad there, and one pad there, and one pad there, and they're sort of offset. So what that means is that when a mob spawns, um, it gets pushed to the center, and if I walk here, well, I can't walk right into it, but you'll see I don't trigger the tripwire. So when a mob falls down, it's not going to be triggering all the other pistons below it. So that's pretty neat. Whoa! Oh my god, I've just realized it has a massive problem as well. Whoops. Um. <laughs> oh man, this is... Uh, whoa. Well, the problem here is I've put redstone up here. And uh, it's going to trigger all the things beside it. Which isn't what I want. I originally put the redstone here just to be able to disable the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I didn't think of that before. So, well, there there you go. I, man, I got it wrong. And the one that isn't working there, I guess it's the one with the repeater above it. Above it. Hmm. How uh, weird. Wow, look at that. It's doing weird behavior as well. So I guess that's good to know. I have to take out this redstone here. <laughs> uh... But, uh, yeah, I'll just do that there, and now I can show you. So, imagine you come here, and you're a mob, and, uh... Oh, I lost my stairs, so I can put down this half block just for now. I don't want to use half blocks because I have a three-high gap here. What did I just throw away? I'll go and get it in a second. Uh, I have a three-high space here to allow wither skeletons to spawn, because I'm sure they won't be able to spawn in a two-high for very long doesn't make sense, and perhaps it's already been fixed. Uh, but apart from that, mob will spawn, and... Oh, I'm, I've got a solid block there. Uh, you'll see if I put a string down there as well, because I have this offset pattern, it doesn't trigger the piston below. So that just means there's less lag. And uh, each segment can get triggered individually, well, that's quite a nice view running down here. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll uh, add that right at the end of the montage. <laughs> well, what's going to happen is the they're going to fall down here, they're going to land on these half blocks, and get picked up by a rail system. So when they get pushed off, they should be on one edge or the other, so they're more likely to get picked up. Normally a problem with a rail mob spawner system is the mobs will spawn right in the center of the block and if they don't move then the cart won't pick them up they have to be sort of off to the side and uh yeah that's that's sort of what i got so far i, I was doing this iron bar thing here and uh all these bricks lots of bricks lovely lovely bricks oh it's my bow and i did forget about it <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to change it, and that really sucks. I'm going to have to pull out this whole wall, and uh, to then be able to have a redstone system to disable it, I'm going to... Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to have to move this redstone here, down, and to the back one, so it doesn't interact with the tripwire hooks. And I feel so dumb for not seeing that. Uh, although I didn't put this in in my testing, so I blame the past me for that uh, for that mistake. <laughs> and uh, if magma cubes spawn, it should only be the very small ones. 
so that's okay. And it's extendable, you know, I can make it even further, I can put it all the way to, well, only to uh, this wall over here, and then I guess that will be the end of the areas that the wither skeletons can actually spawn in. So I can make it a little bit longer, and I guess I should do that as well, bring it all the way to there. Um, but yeah, I mean, until I get this all hooked up, there isn't really that much more to show you. And of course, I now have to rip everything out. I have to rebuild the side walls so I can push everything back in safety without, you know, worrying about gas destroying everything. And I still have to put a roof on. And let's see, I think it's 40 blocks long for now. So that's one, two, three, four, uh, four times 460 spots to spawn, which isn't that many. But once all the other spawning pads are limited, are eliminated around, it shouldn't be a problem once everything is uh, TNT'd and I've disabled the other spawning pads I made. But yeah, that's uh, sort of what I wanted to show you so far. I don't know if this glass is necessary. I might remove it. It was only there to protect the redstone. But if the redstone is getting moved, I'll probably remove that glass there and then that should maybe increase the spawning chances in here. Um, but yeah, the offset design like this is quite nice, because you fall down and it only triggers the uh, tripwire you're falling through, and not the ones below it. So, that is the, the basics of it. I mean, I hope you can, you can see what's going on. Uh, and they'll just fall down there. Some of them will take a little bit of damage, some a little bit more. But what I really want to show you is not this, because uh, this could be done in a number of ways. You get them into the middle and then you collect them with the rail. What I want to show you is what I've come up with after that. And I'm going to have to go into creative mode. I know some of you don't really like that, but uh, because I've been working on the other mob trap with Zuma, you know, we've made a bunch of mistakes and uh, learned a lot from comments. There's been good suggestions and that kind of thing. So I think I'll just show you what I've got so far for the different elements. And that way if I've done anything dumb, like I've done up there, putting redstone, which triggers everything even though it's not supposed to, uh, you guys can let me know. And the main problems with this are going to be the small magma cubes, because they're pretty annoying. Uh, but for the rest of it, uh, I think I'm good. So, I know some of you hate it, but we're going to creative mode. Okay. So one thing I forgot to mention about the other trap is I wanted everything to fall into a one wide gap. It just makes the collection a lot easier and uh, yeah, I have a higher chance of collecting the mobs in the minecart. So I just forgot to mention that. But anyways, once they are collected, the next thing I have to do, the most important thing, is to separate the wither skeletons. Now luckily, because they are taller than the other mobs, it's quite easy. Well, that didn't pick them up. I was hoping it would. <laughs> but yeah, all you need is a tripwire, which is uh, three blocks up, or two blocks, I don't know. You know, higher than you. So I go under it, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get triggered. And it's the same thing if I put, say, a pigman in the cart. You'll see he goes off to the right, and this tripwire arrangement doesn't get triggered. But if I put in a wither skeleton, he's a little bit taller. And you see he goes straight there because it triggered the tripwire. And that triggered the track switching. So that's good. And also a nice thing about the tripwire is it's quite quick. It triggers the tripwire quickly and it resets it quickly. So that's, uh, that's quite nice. Hopefully I shouldn't need any additional timing. Because running, thing, running things fast is better. Basically, you know, the faster the better. But yeah, just to show you again, very simple. Yeah. And I got this idea from my old, old LP world where I was separating uh, Endermen. So you can do the same thing with them. So that's it, the basic wither, uh, wither skeleton separator. And yeah, very simple to put together and very fast. So that is excellent. Now, I'm not going to be wanting to collect 
and pigmen and blazes and that. I just want them to die as quickly as possible. Uh, there are probably going to be small magma cubes spawning there as well. And so all of those three mobs, I want to get rid of them as quickly as I can. So where do I have to go here? I think I go over here. And I'll show you uh, what I have for that. It is also very simple, very fast, and much better than the old crushing method I used to use. And it is going to be made possible using the amazing hoppers here. And uh, yeah, this is the setup, basically. The only thing I haven't done here is uh, this should be hoppers down there, like that. Dun, dun, dun. And, uh, you know, the carts can go over there, no problem. Except for flying while putting down the rails is a bit annoying. But, you know, you get the idea. All... Ah, come on. <laughs> come on. There we go. All the cart or carts, all the floor here can be hoppers, and then I can have glass on the side. So any mob that dies in here through suffocation damage, because they'll be in a minecart suffocating the whole way down, uh, their drops will get picked up in the hoppers. And the nice thing about this is it looks awesome. Like you can watch it running, uh, you'll see what happens. The mobs go through and then they die sort of around the bottom depending on how much fall damage they've taken, you know, because they'll be falling from different heights in the trap. Uh, but this system, it doesn't care, it doesn't matter, you know. They can have any amount of damage, and as soon as they get in there, uh, they'll start dying, and before they get out, they'll be dead. <laughs> so I guess they're not going to get out. Uh, but yeah, currently I have this hooked up to a regulator, which is just a clock. So when that pressure plate, or whatever it's called, detector rail, or the one up here is activated, then it allows the clock to run, and that allows this piston, I always call them pushins or pistons, piston to run. So I'll just give it a quick uh, head start, and you'll see it picks up the mobs, they go through, taking suffocation damage all the time, and around here they'll probably die, depending on how much fall damage they've taken. But yeah, you can see some die up there, and some die down there. But with hoppers all along, it really doesn't matter. And of course the items no longer stop minecarts, and that also makes this possible. Now I just want to try one thing, because uh, you can see it's running pretty quick uh, for a minecart system. I don't think it gets much quicker than that, but it might, so I would like to test that, and I'll just stick that down to a 3 clock or a 4 clock, and see if it still runs. Uh, here we go. Yeah, and I could probably actually run it even quicker. Like, maybe a 3 clock. <laughs> so you could essentially kill a mob every three ticks, which is pretty good. Uh, but anyways, that's going to take care of the blazes and the pigmen. Uh, so that is good. And yep, the next issue is going to be the magma cubes. And this is the most annoying one to test as well, because when you use the eggs, you never know what size you're going to get. And if I test spiders, that's not going to be very good. Uh, magma cube, there. So, uh, again, it's a very simple setup. If the cart has a, well, a magma cube in it, or nothing in it, so af after this system here, I'll pass it through this, and all this will do is either detect an empty cart, uh, see it will fall through the pressure plate, and it won't trigger that piston there, it will fall down on this side, and if it has a magma cube in it, oh, actually, I want to get the cart right by the egg there so I can put it down. Or actually, I'll put down the cart and then spawn the cube. There we go. That, oh, you see, it gets pushed over to the other side. So, yeah, very simple. That's my magma cube detector. I'm going to make sure there's no cubes in the cart because, you know, they're very small, so otherwise they're hard to detect. And, um,. Uh, this system as well will run very quickly, I think. Uh, 
but of course there's not going to be a magma cube coming out in every cart so yeah okay got a big one forget it uh, the next problem is killing the magma cubes and yeah I've seen a few people using this setup like Doc M yeah, I, can't, I don't know who came up with it but you know you have the mine cart there and it goes into the cactus and gets sucked into the hopper so that will then feed these carts here back into the system. They can come out of a, a dispenser, I believe. But if I set it up here with the cactus around it and try and get another magma cube, you'll see... Oh, he dies. Yeah, so it will suck up the cart and kill the magma cube pretty much instantly. And all it is is the angled rail going up here three cacti around the hopper and a solid block to prevent the magma cube from uh, jumping backwards and I could even put more cactus down there uh, yeah. <laughs> I know I could make some system to you know only have a small ones and break them down but you know I don't think it's necessary but these guys are the worst <laughs> stupid magma cubes and hopefully they're not going to be spawning on the rails in the wrong spot. Okay, there's some small ones. Uh, come on, catch him. Ah, oh, sorry, I missed that. I'll try again. <laughs> uh, come on, just give me small ones. There we go. Nope. But yeah, it doesn't matter if a magma cube isn't in there, which is important as well, because they could despawn. Uh, that's what would happen if there was a, anything on the track and it bumped into it. It would just stop the cart. But, let's see. There we go. Yeah, they just die instantly. So really, oh, I'm, I'm really pleased with myself. <laughs> Because uh, I I don't know everything just it works fast and that is key to this minecart stuff. Uh, yeah, it's going to be very complicated though because I'm going to have to have some sort of master output which is going to be outputting the carts which go into the trap and then you know because some carts will come back empty, some carts will come back uh, as carts which need to be dispensed to become you know, on the to get on the rails again. Um, and then a bunch of them will go over to uh, somewhere else, the ones which collect the wither skeletons. They'll go to a portal and it will be something similar to this. That's the one element I haven't quite worked out yet, but it should be fairly simple. And actually, I think I did work out the wither skeleton collecting system. Uh, you can see I figured this out before I knew about the cactus thing. And it uses arrows in there to... Sh oh, fire charges even. <laughs> and they'll destroy the carts. And then the mob should pop out. So I'll just try that with the normal skeleton here. I'll stick him there. Then he'd fall down. And... Uh, okay, I guess that's the version that didn't work. Maybe it needs to be a little bit higher. I'll try that again. No, not the magma cube. Skelly. Falls down. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't get a very good view there. I'll just put a glass block here instead. Like so. Okay, so skeleton or whatever mob would spawn there. Cart would go down, get destroyed, and you saw the mob get sucked into the nether there. Although I think the cart did as well. So, it looked like it did. So yeah, this is, isn't is perfect, this part, but I think it can be perfected. It shouldn't be the end of the world. Mm, yeah, the cart did get taken away then. Perhaps uh, the cart would go down and it would get destroyed and then a piston would push the wither skeleton off to the side. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's still time before figuring all that out. Anyways, I've edited the episode and it's already about 30 minutes long and I want to put in the music bit because uh, otherwise the clips, the recordings are just sitting on my computer and 
yeah, using up space, and I just want to move on. And I'm kind of tired of this song. I was working on it for a while. It's not perfect. It's just some drum and bass I was working on. And maybe it'll get better one day. But yeah. I have no idea what the rest of this stuff is. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you soon. <laughs>